Hello YouTube. So I wanted to do a brief video today on like my image, <laughs> image, um, and what is it like to feel like I'm misunderstood. And part of this brand of unapologetically Marenike is that I'm just myself. And I honestly, I don't care. Yes, it has its consequences. Like, um, I have formulated this and my name means someone to cherish and love. I've done a lot of work personally and I love to give love to a lot of people. And these are usually very close friends and people I just meet. I'll tell them like I love you and you know you are amazing we are connected we are part of the whole you add value to my life and you know the image is <laughs> not really an image it is it is me without a mask and what I think is and feel is that a lot of people are not prepared for honesty and you know sometimes it sucks Honestly, like, uh, it, it doesn't feel good to be misinterpreted and, like, people getting a different kind of idea. Usually these feelings are friendly, um, platonic, but very deep. And so when somebody says loving words to a platonic friend or to, to somebody that they don't um, have, know or have, have deep relationships in this way... They, it, they can they can feel like I don't think I feel the same way what the hell like these are these are true words from one soul to another you are beautiful you teach me things you um, inspire me to keep my heart open your eyes tell me things that I just sometimes am not prepared to see and that they're gorgeous your heart makes me feel like I I should be able to love again that I can be like a child every day exploring things open and receptive and forgiving so honestly um, <laughs> you know I, I how do I feel sometimes sad that it's, it's misunderstood oh, there's a plan. but at the end of the day the truth is I've done no harm what I did was I spoke extreme light and if somebody has the wrong idea about me, sometimes I do go back and I try to like tell the person, you know, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Like we're friends. Um, this is not romantic, but you really are beautiful. Like I'm not allowed to say that. So um, yeah, uh, I know that I, I have done nothing in um, to harm a person or said any nasty words. Uh, I. I do my best to uplift so the brand the image you know honestly I'm unapologetic about the fact that like how I feel I'm unapologetic about what I'm going through and like I fuck yeah man like let's just go balls to the wall let's like remove all heart barriers and things like that and let's just like tell each other how we actually feel I live because I have many friends who have died I don't want to be in that situation and tell my friend that I really love them or tell my neighbor that like you know what you really do inspire me you all don't wait until it's your last day or you're diagnosed with a sickness or an illness to tell people how you really feel and the truth you should be able to do it every day and if they can't handle it you know just know that if people start getting the wrong idea about you, you, you walk across to see them and they're dodging you, they're, they're trying to run to talk to other people, to just like block you and talk to other women or hide, you know what, like that is seriously their issue and this is something that they've created in their heads. You know, it has nothing to do with you. So do I worry about being misinterpreted? only when I miss my friends <laughs> and they take it the wrong way like then I really do feel like damn dude like I wish I wish they had honestly just like asked me what was up or told me hey I feel uncomfortable that you actually said nice things about me but you know I, 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 it, it's sad but you know the truth is people are used to hearing negative things so I challenge all of you that this week 
every conversation that you have, tell all of your friends, all of your neighbors, something incredibly loving that no one you feel has told them yet today or ever. And see how they respond. Let's start a love revolution. Are you guys with me? <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm signing off. I'm uh, signing off and submitting stuff to agents today. I'm still at the office, but I'm overlooking this market and it's gorgeous. All these lanterns everywhere. Okay, leave a comment and let me know how that went or what you wanted to say and haven't told anyone for so long. Sometimes this can be romantic relationships. Forward this to your friend if you can share. And if you can subscribe, hit that little red button below and holla at your girl. You guys have an awesome, awesome evening.